We just got a package from Gary, Texas. Gary sent us a 27 inch late 2012 iMac and he said uh, installed Clover bootloader now reboots in infinite cycles. After you fix it, install iSierra or Sierra. In the last few months, screen started ghosting. Can you diagnose the screen and video card to let me know if there is a problem there? I spoke with you over the phone, blah, blah, blah. All right. This is not the first time I hear about this problem. This is most definitely a corrupt EFI chip, corrupt firmware on the EFI chip. Let's take a look at where the EFI chip is at. Yep, that's a 25Q0648. That's an EFI chip. And just give me a moment. His uh, PS4, one time it turned it on, and then it turned off, and never wanted to turn back on. So we're going to start by removing the EFI chip. We're going to reprogram the EFI chip with a new firmware. And after we do so, problem should be fixed. gonna do this job by using low melt solder. Okay, and the chip is out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reprogram the chip using a new firmware. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Baba, I'm recording. I'm recording. Hello, everyone. Hello, sweetheart. All right, so day two, kids came in yesterday to the shop and they wanted to leave, so I could not finish the video yesterday, so we're gonna finish it today. We already took the EFI chip out. We prepped the board. Now what we're gonna do is program the chip with a new firmware. And then release and the chip is secured in place. Now we're gonna flash a new firmware onto the chip. The first thing we wanna do is detect and tell the programmer what type of chip we have on there. And select. Let's read from that chip.
the chip is being read right now. Read successful. So now that the chip was read, let's go ahead and save that same firmware that was on the chip just to keep it back up copy in case. We're not going to need that firmware that's on the chip now, but we're going to save it anyway. Let's call it bad. Not bin. Let's load the new firmware. Okay, and let's program that firmware onto the chip. You can see the busy yellow or orange light right here, which indicates that the chip is being programmed right now. Of course, we do not want to interrupt this process. If you do, then the chip may never work again. That's an eight megabyte chip in case anybody is wondering. job is done now we're gonna solder that chip back onto the board So all the pins are soldered perfectly. All we have to do is put the screen. We're gonna reset PRAM and hopefully everything works. So let's put the cables in, hold it. Let's power it on. We're gonna press and hold command option PR. And we're gonna do this four times. So the initial problem with this is it's an infinite loop, infinite loop. Release, press and hold the option key. So far we do not see any boot loops or infinite loops, but we cannot tell unless we try to boot up from an operating system. Let's pick Sierra. If Sierra booted, then the problem is solved. We are booting up from an external drive, so it takes a little longer than if it was internal. Very good. Okay, yeah, and that's it. Look at that. No reboots, no infinite loops, no graphics problems. Everything is good. That's it. We're going to seal this up, package it, and mail it back to the customer.